Okay, there's two types of combustion air, primary air and secondary air. Primary air is mixed inside the burner tube. You can see the burner tube there. Secondary air comes in around the side of the burner. The first thing I'm going to show you is a burner that has no primary air. And that'll be a yellow flame. Then I'm going to turn it blue by adding primary air, and we end up with a blue flame. The blue flame is what we usually use in heat because it works best for us. Okay, this flame has no primary air. The only air that's, that is supplied for combustion is coming in from around the sides. And as it goes up, it turns yellow and completes its burn. These are kind of lazy flames. This is a, uh, what we call lazy flame in the, in the gas business. And they can impinge upon heat exchangers and the like <clears throat> because they're lazy. Uh, this is not the flame we want. This flame generally, if there's enough secondary air, that's air coming around the sides, does not produce carbon monoxide. However, if it impinges on a heat exchanger or something like that, it will produce carbon monoxide. So what we look for in our burners is a blue flame. Uh, this flame was actually used for light in the early part of the last century in, uh, in some towns because it was a yellow light. But uh, what we're using it for in the heating industry is... Uh, is for heat so we are uh, going to want to use a blue flame. Now I'm going to adjust this and you'll see the blue flame come out. Now you can already see what's happened there. Uh, most of the uh, yellow tips are starting to go away. Uh, this flame here is what we're looking for. Uh, if I put too much air in it, now if you listen close you can hear it's kind of ruffling. Uh, it's got really yellow tips but the flame is being cooled down because there's too much primary air coming in. Remember, the primary air is the air that's coming in with the gas, right there. There's an orifice in here, and it draws primary air in uh, through here and up to here, and secondary air completes the burn. So we'll go back down to a bit of a yellow flame. The little sparklies don't mean anything. Uh, they're just bits of dirt going through. Now you can see the yellow tips. Let me get to so you can see the top of this again. You can see the yellow tips. Uh, some say you should just get rid of the yellow tips. Some say you should just keep a little bit of yellow tip. Uh, I kind of prefer it to mostly be gone. That's pretty much taking care of all the yellow tips on that flame. This is a kind of burner. Uh, or the kind of burn we're looking for. And that's it for adjusting primary air on the gas burner.